<clears throat> so here I've got a 3D printed brushless motor that I made a little while ago. I just haven't gotten around to making a video of it. Um, I 3D modeled uh, everything myself. Like this is basically as DIY as you can get. Firstly, looking at the circuit. Um, uh, obviously it's just a three phase H bridge. Uh, it uses a shared gate design for the, um, for the MOSFETs, uh, which I plan to improve on in further designs because that's not the best idea. Uh, I'll show a picture of the circuit. And so this is just um, a power supply for the, the lasers which time the motor. Uh, I'll take it apart and I'll show you. But it essentially just converts to uh, 2.5 volts for the, for the laser diodes. And so if I disassemble this, what we see on the outside here is uh, cooling holes. So uh, at any given direction, one set of the holes will be pulling air in and one set will be pulling air out. So it's a pretty easy disassembly. And so firstly looking at the rotor, uh, the rotor uses magnets arranged into a Hallbach array. Um, I might make a video about that in the future, but that essentially just focuses the magnetic field inward so there's no wasted uh, magnetic potential escaping the rotor, like going outside. Um, the motor itself, well, this is actually about as torn down as it can get. Uh, so the stator is made using um, a homemade ferrite type material. It's essentially... Um, about, I actually didn't uh, pay attention when I made this one, but uh, I've made batches that are about 80% uh, iron powder and 20% resin, and the, the resin just glues it all together. Uh, that essentially acts as, um, it, it's better than making your stator at like 3D printing it or making it out of uh, solid iron. Uh, the reasoning for that is obviously just 3D printed plastic doesn't have a very high electromagnetic permeability, so you won't get a very strong magnetic field formed. And then if you were to make a uh, stator out of solid iron, you would have a lot of eddy currents and uh, you would reduce the efficiency of your motor. So uh, this utilizes uh, 100 windings per pole um, and there are four poles per phase, 12 poles altogether, and they are a arranged in a delta type configuration but so what we'll see is you can see immediately below the the stator here there's this these little holders um, these are holding laser diodes and that's what's being powered by uh, your buck converter right here and they aim downwards on uh, glued into the bottom you can see there's photodiodes in there um, let me see if I can get the camera to focus so you'll see that just beneath, it's kind of hard to see, just beneath this holder right here, you'll see a what looks like an LED. That's a photodiode. Um, and there's this uh, blocker plate that comes and breaks the laser beam. And that's used to generate the uh, square wave signal to time each phase. You would have seen the oscill oscilloscope in the back of the intro video uh, with a square wave on it. That is what's being generated by these... Um, laser diodes and photo diodes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this design has gone. There's definitely some improvements to be made, but this is, a, I think, my sixth attempt at making a 3D printed motor so far. Um, I've got another one on the way, but this is definitely uh, definitely improvement over all my past ones. So I'll just run that one more time. So you have to line up the rotor this isn't the most powerful design uh, I think it draws like 3 amps at oh here we'll see I'm pretty sure it's a 75 watt motor Yeah, so it's drawing 3 amps at 12 volts, so that's actually only 36 watts. If I pump it up to... I only have a 5 amp power supply, so it's drawing 5 amps at 15 volts. So, uh, 5 times 15. Yeah, that's it's a 75 watt motor at, um, at 15 volts. 
So, yeah.